I'm happy to announce today an immediate package of EU assistance to the Gambia worth 75 million euros. The European Union, one crucial long-standing development partner of the Gambia, has moved quickly to open a new chapter with the country. This after emerging from a not very smooth relationship with the former government. Held by many as a monumental intervention for the new Gambia, the EU and Banjul on Thursday, February 9, 2017, signed a 75 million euro immediate support package at a high profile ceremony presided over by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Adam Abaro at the Kairaba Beach Hotel. Nevin Mimika, EU Commissioner for International Cooperation and Development, was on hand to put his signature on the aid agreement on behalf of his organization, whilst Usuni Dabu, the Gambia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and Gambians Abroad did the signing for the new dispensation. My visit is a testimony to uh, what the European Union is fully committed to. And this is engaging with the Gambia to open a new chapter of our relations and to be a privileged partner of the new Gambia. The EU in its efforts to address the post-dictatorship uh, era has uh, come to our aid in uh, uh, providing not only material support but also support in terms of um, ideas, uh, uh, support in uh, shaping the right direction for the Gambia. This package will bring forward the projects in the areas of food security, of uh, climate change, of agriculture and rural development, and of job creation, employment, in particular for youth and for women. Coming on the back of a regime that left the Gambia with serious economic troubles, the signing of this 75 million euro package from the EU could not have come at a more appropriate time. Your visit comes at a very crucial period for the Gambia. We have just assumed the task of governing the country after decades of dictatorship and self-imposed isolation. As a new government, what he has inherited is an economy that is virtually bankrupt and in need of immediate rescue. Also on the same day, an all-important project dubbed Youth Empowerment Project was launched at the Kairaba Beach Hotel. With a budget of 11 million euros, the Gambia Youth Empowerment Scheme aims at supporting directly and indirectly about 100,000 young people. This Youth Empowerment uh, Project wants to capitalize on the enormous creativity, ingenuity, uh, initiative, innovation of the youth of this country. It will be able to turn the tide against irregular migration by creating jobs for the youths here at home. With your knowledge and experience of the Gambian environment gained over the years, we have no doubt that ITC is a solid partner that would deliver to our expectations. With this 11 million euro youth empowerment project, Gambian youth can now look into the future with renewed optimism in view of the rate at which they have been leaving the country in recent years for better living conditions elsewhere in Europe. If I'm less hopeful, I'll move to where I think I can make it. But if I'm hopeful that the future is brighter, I can do it, I can make it, I can earn it, then I will stay. So in the new Gambia, having the first major project being signed uh, that has to do with young people, especially migration, I think increases our hopefulness. And I think this is a step in the right direction and will encourage the new government to ensure that young issues of young people become a priority. The Gambia needs all of its sons and daughters to rebuild the country. And you need them in the Gambia, not abroad. I'm also happy to announce that the European Union is already preparing a new package of, of our assistance of 150 million euros to address medium and longer term actions. So you can count on us to continue 
to strengthen our partnership in this new era of uh, a new Gambia.